I want to show you the extensions I use in Google Chrome to be more focused and productive when I'm working. So I spend a lot of time working from different sorts of places like coffee shops and co-working spaces and from home. And when I'm traveling, I'm working from busy airports and hotels and villas. And it's really important in these different kinds of environments to be able to focus and be productive and for me to know that I'm getting real actionable work done that actually adds to the bottom line of my business. Content creation, doing valuable things that serves my audience rather than just me consuming content on Facebook or my favorite news sites. So I want to go through the 10 extensions I think that are really have been game changers for me, helping me become more focused and productive. So if you want to download these extensions, you can Google them or you can click below the video. It's a link to my website, the blog post that contains all 10 of the links where you can download them for free. So all these extensions are basically free and you can download them from the Chrome Web Store. So the first is called Momentum Dashboard. This is probably my favorite extension on the list. It basically replaces the new tab screen in Chrome with this beautiful dashboard with these incredible images. So you see the image here is this kind of Buddhist Shangri-La surrealist portrait. Um, and this image changes every day. And there's always an inspiring natural picture of a beautiful wonder of the world or some incredible architecture like the pyramids of Giza or the Taj Mahal. It's just inspiring. It changes every day. And then you have this dashboard that reminds you what your focus is for the day. So my focus right now is instructional videos. And every day you set what your main focus is for the day. And then you're reminded every time you open up a new tab what your focus is. You have a different inspirational quote every day. And then over here you have your to-do list, all the things you're doing during your day. So I start out my day and I add my to-dos to -dos there. And then I go through and I check them off as I complete them. And it's just great to be reminded because it's really important to kind of set out your path for the day, what your to-dos are, and then make sure you do them. It's really important to being productive. So next up, I use a tool called Rescue Time to track how I use my computer. So basically, it runs in the background. It tracks how you use your applications, how you're surfing the web, and it shows you all the websites you're going, basically how you're spending your time. And it's a great tool to kind of discover where that black hole of nothingness is that sucks all your time into it. And it's really important to find the websites that are wasting your time and keeping you from doing what you really want to be doing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great ways you can kind of optimize your day by looking at the ebbs and flows of your energy throughout the day as your productivity goes up and goes down. So sites are giving ratings based on how, you know, either productive they are or how distracting they are. And they give you like a percentage of how productive you are. And you can see throughout your day how your energy changes how you maybe get to work in the morning, you're at your best. If you're like me in the morning, you get into flow, you get your best work done. After lunch, you know, you're not quite as productive. So you want to kind of focus, if you're like that, on early in the day doing the hardest work first. So when you have less energy later in the day, you're not trying to do the most difficult stuff. So Rescue Time is an awesome tool. Uh, there's, a, there's an elite version you can pay for. But basically all the stuff you need is available for free and you can just sign up on their website for free and get the extension. Highly recommend Rescue Time. Next up we got Pocket. So I'll give you an idea here of my website, how it works. You basically just click on this button and it saves the website to your Pocket. So it's basically like cloud-based bookmarks. And the beauty of Pocket, the thing I really love about it, is you can look at your bookmarks offline. So you can download your bookmarks to your iPhone or your Android or your iPad. And when you're on a long flight without any internet, you can read uh, the articles you've saved. And you can basically, if you're saving stuff in the web and you're later going to be on your iPad, you can save them to your pocket, look at them on your iPad later. It's a good way to like, during the day, if you see some good content, you don't want to distract you from your work, put it in your pocket, you got it there to look at later, which is great. Next up, we got Adblock Plus. So it runs in the background and basically it blocks ads. So it blocks the scripts that run ads. So when you're using Facebook, you don't have those pesky sidebar ads. It blocks the YouTube pre-roll ads. It blocks all the flashing, distracting animated ads you see on websites. It's just great for helping you focus when you're online. Then we have one tab. I really love this plugin. Basically it reduces tab clutter. So you probably, if you're like me, sometimes you have like 10 or 15 or 20 tabs open and it's distracting. 
and you just click this button and it consolidates all those tabs into a single tab where you can go in there and you know and, and see a list of all the websites and then you don't have all the tabs open so you can focus and it's also great because it reduces your memory usage it actually says it can reduce your memory usage by up to 95 percent so if you're on mobile running off battery power it can actually extend your battery because you're not wasting unnecessary memory then we got Zenmate so this is Zenmate it's basically a VPN it encrypts your traffic so you see your web activity here is encrypted and tunneled my location is masked my privacy is insured so this is great basically one of the great uses for this is you can uh, access geographically restricted content so when I'm traveling and I want to use US Netflix or Spotify or Hulu I just connect in through a US server and then it basically masks my IP so it looks like I'm visiting from the states in this case New York United States and I can access all those services anywhere in the world which is great and it just protects your privacy and this is really important a really important extension if you're using a lot of public Wi-Fi Public Wi-Fi is not secure, and this helps make you more secure when you're on public Wi-Fi by encrypting your traffic from spying eyes. Next up, we got Quick um, SEO. This is a great tool. Just gives you some data on websites, the page rank out of 10 on Google, the backlinks, the Alexa rank, which is like a, a ranking of where it fits in the, the scheme of things of all the websites. And what I really like is the backlinks. So if you're building uh, a website and an audience, SEO is the best way to build an audience is you know having people find you and they're searching for things you're writing about on Google so uh, finding backlink profiles of other websites observing how they're getting linked to can give you a lot of ideas and how you can build backlinks for your own website and reach out to people and make new connections uh, another good uh, SEO plugins a little more advanced is the Moz bar from Moz.com I highly recommend that as well it gives you some more detailed data uh, if that's what you want but this is kind of a good overview of every website you're visiting so you can see how much traffic that website is getting and what kind of backlink profile it has and that kind of stuff next up we got Hootsuite's Hootlet so Hootsuite's a social dashboard allows you to simultaneously share on all your social networks I don't always recommend doing this because sometimes you want to kind of customize your message for the different networks you're on you probably in a lot of cases you're not going to want to send the same message on Facebook you put on Twitter and LinkedIn but like basically it allows you to share content to kind of fill up the spaces when you're not sharing your own stuff with other people's content that you're reading and you think is valuable for your audience and you basically click on this button and it basically pulls up a screen where you can share this content and you can share it on your different social networks you can set up all the profiles Hootsuite gives you I believe five profiles free so like your LinkedIn your Facebook your business page on Facebook your Twitter um, and then maybe like Pinterest or something and then you can basically set up a content calendar so like if you're doing Twitter you know most people don't see Twitter unless it's like tweeted at different times of the day when they might be online to reach your whole audience so you can schedule a tweet you know in three or four places throughout the day also they have this great auto schedule feature basically uses an algorithm to find the best time to to tweet or send out a message when most of your audience is most likely um, uh, going to be online. So Hootsuite's a great tool, awesome company, doing some great things in social media. Next up we got LastPass. So if you've ever been kind of stuck on a website and frustrated because you don't remember your password and you got to go to your email and get the password recovery email, well you'll never have to deal with that again if you get LastPass. It's free and basically you have one password for your last pass that accesses your cloud-based secured password database and then from there you can you know create unique passwords for every website so the easiest way to get hacked is using the same password on every website and one website gets hacked and then some hacker has you know all you know access to all your websites potentially if you're using the same password with LastPass, they automatically generate really difficult, like 15 character long passwords with numbers and letters and apostrophes and all these crazy things in the password so they can't as easily be hacked. And uh, it generates those passwords, and then you just have to remember your main password. And it automatically fills forms, so like your, it fills your information form. You don't have to write your address and your name again in a form, it's automatically filled. 
and it automatically logs you into websites. So you never have to waste your time trying to figure out your password, which is frustrating and it's just a, a real productivity killer. So I highly recommend LastPass. It's free for the web and then it's a dollar a month if you want access as well on your Android, your iPhone, your iPad. If you want to access your passwords on those devices, there's a small fee. But it's worth it just because you're not going to be wasting your time um, trying to find passwords if you're using it. Last up, we got Stay Focused. It's a really cool app. When you're having a bad day, you're tired, um, and you're just distracted, Stay Focused can help you stay focused. So you can limit the time you can spend on websites. So I go read the news on, say, Business Insider, and uh, you know it's basically a tabloid, but it has some good stuff on startups and business and what's going on in the world. So I like it, but like I don't want to waste my whole day on there, and they have slideshows that can just suck you in. And uh, I, I limit it if I'm distracted to about 10 or 15 minutes that I can browse that website. And then it blocks you and you just can't access that website. And really the only way to access it at that point is just to uninstall the plugin and do all this stuff, which is a huge headache. So it basically kind of keeps you honest and keeps you from you know wasting your time on websites. You can set like a time limit on Facebook, say, if you're wasting time on Facebook, only check it for 20 minutes a day, then you're blocked. If that's what you want to do, you can do that. And you can also block websites that don't have to do with your work during work hours so you can focus. So focus is a huge deal. You know, you know, you can spend all day on a computer and get nothing done, just browse content, absorb information. But like what you want to be doing is working on, you know, your career and your business and, and the value you're providing for people and producing content rather than just consuming content. So all these extensions can help you focus and be more productive. And if you want to download them, you can click below to my blog, and there's a, there's a, a list of all the different extensions and where you can download them. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you can use these different Chrome extensions to focus and be more productive and get more done and just generally kick ass in your life.